One year ago, Tennessee was treated to an amazing showing of the northern lights. News 2 meteorologist Alex Libby spoke to an expert to learn why we saw them this far south and why the solar storms that create them could actually cause some major problems. Alex. Yeah, it wasn't just last May. Also in October, we saw the northern lights here in Tennessee. And according to Sean Dahl, the service coordinator at the Space Weather Prediction Center, we are seeing the northern lights more this far south because the sun is at its solar maximum. He says the sun has an 11 year cycle and right now we are seeing the most sunspots and solar storms. He says these solar storms are what caused the northern lights, but if we see a storm stronger than we saw one year ago, it could cause a lot of problems. We had that G5 in May of last year that you're talking about. But that was a G5 that was here. The G5 is the top of our scale. But you can have a G5, the historical one that we're planning for, that's three times stronger. That we don't know that we're ready for. Yeah, and um, some of those impacts caused by those strong solar storms, it could impact the power grid, potentially causing widespread power outages. Now, we said the one one year ago did cause some minor power outages, but nothing widespread. Also, GPS systems can go down. He said this really impacted farmers last year because it occurred in May when a lot of farmers are sowing their fields or you know putting their seed down, and they said they lost out because their GPS was wrong, those really high-tech GPS systems. And lastly, they can cause damage to satellites. He says all that solar energy pushed the satellites out of where their orbit should be, so they had to use you know their jets to go back into position, which can be very expensive. So these solar storms, of course, cause beautiful northern lights, but they can also cause some problems as well.